The Canadian experience with the resolution of class actions is very similar to the U.S. Most class actions settle and very few proceed to trial. Even still, questions about whether and when to settle and whether and when to push for a ruling on the merits are extremely important in Canadian class action litigation. For example, in Quebec, the bar for certification, or authorization as it's called, is very low, and the associated procedure is very straightforward and inexpensive. There is typically no evidence and very little scope for pre-certification motions. Class action settlements in Canada require court approval, and that process can be very time-consuming and expensive. So it often makes sense in Quebec to first resist authorization and defer settlement issues to later in the process. Settlement can be particularly tricky in multi-jurisdictional class actions. In those kinds of cases, it's very important for a defendant's lawyers to have national bench strength to ensure coordination across jurisdictions. In general, the incentives to settle class actions in Canada are high on both sides. For defendants, class actions are time-consuming, complicated, and involve significant reputational and financial risk. For plaintiffs, typically class proceedings proceed on a contingency fee basis, with class counsel taking on significant risk in relation to recovery against well-funded defendants. This reality can also motivate early settlement. Against this backdrop, there are often strategic choices the defendant can make to improve the chances of a favorable settlement. For example, the certification motion can narrow the issues where defendants successfully argue that certain claims are not viable or certain issues are not common to the class. It's also important for both parties to consider whether to push forward to a ruling on the merits. We're slowly seeing a greater number of common issues trials. In some cases, the parties are negotiating consent to certification of a narrowed set of common issues in an effort to move the case to a binding disposition on the merits. Where a defendant has a strong case on the merits, a substantive and quick ruling on a class level can be an attractive choice. This points to the importance of early case assessment. Class action defendants may need to resist the gut reaction to fight certification and think instead about how certification and common issues trials can be used most effectively to advance their clients' interests in a given case.